It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Ford and Brewery and it's a bottle of their Crash Zone India Pale Lager coming in at 7.5% ABV. There's a look at the label. There's the bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Fordham being an American brewery. Here we go. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. India Pale Lager. It's quite dark. It's quite dark for an India Pale Lager. It's also got a a bit of a tan coloured head going on. Really interesting beer then. I think this might have a little bit of a few different varieties of malt in. Which which looks cool, yeah? That sounds really cool. The beer is available from beersofeurope.co.uk, the largest online beer store in the UK with a mammoth amount of beer from all over the world. Check out the description box for their website, have a look, have a browse, maybe buy a beer or two. On with the review. So we've got a two finger, slightly off white, well it's tan coloured head. Uh, it's quite a clear beer to look at in the glass. Steady carbonation making its way up the glass there. Very uniform like. Should we get the aroma? Oh, and it's quite clear as well for a dark amber coloured ale. Aroma. Yeah, a lot of biscuit malt in here. It smells really tasty. It smells like a kind of a German dark lager. But it's going to have some American hops in, so... Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Mm, interesting beer, really interesting beer. I keep swaying back and forth. Um, the, the, I nearly went Stone the Crows! I, I nearly did that kind of whole Stone the Crows thing and then I stopped. I stopped because um, there really is quite a big bitterness on the end, on the back end. It starts off with some lovely biscuity bready malt flavours and then the hops become quite... It's a powerful hop back end. It's... Let's, let's dive in, let's, let's talk and drink, yeah? Biscuity breadiness coming through, jammy flavours coming through, quite tart beer. Quite a tart beer. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. I'm looking for the flavours on the back end. I'm I'm looking for some grapefruit and some it's just like biting into orange peel. There's no real fruit there. It's like the that quite nasty orange peel zest that you bite into. You know, it's not nice, is it? That's the best way I can describe the bitterness on the back end. No real, there's, there's lots of hops added to the beer. I can taste the bitterness, but what I'm not getting is any hop flavors. I want some, I want some grapefruit. I want some pine needles coming through. I want some mango and tropical fruit flavors, some lemon. I'm not getting any of that. I'm really not getting any of that. I'm getting, I'm just getting orange peel. You know when you screw your face up? When you're a kid, you don't do it when you're, a, you're an adult because you kind of know. You grow up and you know not to do that type of thing. But when you're a kid, I mean, it's always fun to bite on an orange peel or something in it and go, you know? But it's a bit like that. So much promise. The beer looks fantastic. Good lacing on the glass, biscuity bready malts, good, 
nice kind of toffee flavors coming through and and they're the they're the highlights of the beer for me and then unfortunately on it just it just kind of tails off on the back end and just falls away on itself um it had real promise maybe maybe let's have a look so the best before date is the is february 2018 it is currently november 2017 so we got three months on the on the shelf life left on this beer and you would expect some hot flavor to to kind of pronounce itself in the beer it's a shame but i'm gonna rate it crash zone india pale lager nice aroma biscuity bready aromas tartness in the middle biscuity bready flavors coming through nicely carbonated easy drinking beer and then it just all falls apart on the back end. It's a shame. Um, it's gonna struggle. If this beer carried on, if you could take away the back end on this beer, I'd be shouting an eight out of 10. But because it just falls apart so badly on the back end, I'm only gonna give it, I'm only gonna give it a five out of 10. It's a five out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, and cheers.